I'm not in love with this place. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here. Still in fighting shape. Thank you. Ada, you and Amir reconnoitre the area. We need to find the damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. And there's barely enough water in the boiler to make some tea. And we're all out of coal. I see. We'll need to address that too. Anna, Demir, one more task. Look for water and fuel. We'll do. Get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. See you soon. Just try to be careful, all right? Artyom, we have to learn who those men with the car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info, which is just what we need now. Move out as soon as you're ready. Crest, can your rail car pull the train? Hi, Artyom. All clear. Artyom, I've got something for you. Are you going out? Look here, then. This is something I finished just now. Ah, hollowed out a couple of Tihar bullets and filled them with explosive. Some explosive ammo right there. Now, well, you can do it yourself. It's quite simple. Don't forget to clean your guns regularly, with all the sand around.
made a mistake coming here. I surrender! So, there's probably no chance to have a chat with the owners of this car. What a shame they're so silent. Though, had I had a car like this, I wouldn't want to give it up either. <laughs> in my book, driving beats walking in this heat any day. <laughs> Which reminds me, you've got a good test drive opportunity. <laughs> While you were playing in this sandbox, I found some antennas. And the communication center should have them. I think it's at that lighthouse, so you should head there. The lighthouse is so huge, we can't miss it. I have to stay and keep tabs on the area for a while, but once I'm done, I might join you there. See ya! Fucking crazy. As you were, everyone, the Baron has 
The whole body burns. I just can't. <laughs> already anyway.
do it now, you bitch! You can't kill us all, whore! Even if only one of us rip. Don't stand around, no! The Moon Eye by Lair is my friend. The Moon Eye by Lair, as we call them, turned my people into slaves. Wanted to put me in shackles too. <laughs> Better death. Read you loud and clear. Your man helped me. I mean you're dead, but why are you here? For five years, nobody would come here save for Moon Eye by Lair. <clears throat> what do you know of the antennas near your lighthouse? There used to be a comm center before the war. My mother worked there. She was an officer. The facility is long abandoned. I went there after war to look for mom's traces, but found nothing. I will help. Artyom, you have to find the archive. It should be near the command center. Look for shots taken after the war, starting with the year 2013. The Mir will soon be there. You can count on him. Miller, over and out. If we go, we'd better go now, before more of them arrive. Use the workbench if you need to fix something. There are all kinds of danger. A smart man wouldn't go there. You seem smart, but you do not have a choice.
Ready? No? Make haste then, we don't have much time. Before war, this place was beautiful. See, I was five then. My mom was young, alive. Now it's just desert. All the beasts changed into freaks. And people became beasts. My people became chattel. Not by themselves. The oil dogs made them. The oil stayed even though the sea dried out. Old people died. Only the young remained. And they all obey their masters now. The Munai Bailer say they're gods of fire now. And the young believe. Five years after the war, my mother died. I was all alone. I know how to open the door, so I've been there. But I never went deep. There are spiders. <laughs> See the passage? You go through. I'll follow. There's a narrow passage there. I'll stay here. Someone must keep the power going. If you see Mom's picture, bring it. I'll be thankful to you as long as I live.
wait for further instructions. <laughs> Did you hear that, Arjun? Stepyane, we're up a shit creek without a pedal. The cranks on the lower level that last earthquake opened are now seeping gas, and that gas is toxic if I know anything. The ventilation is so far keeping it at bay. But what if the power shuts off again? Or we get another tremor and the cracks open wide? I told the chief, but he's just pulling his usual. Sit on your head in your box, drink and twiddle your thumbs, drink. Yeah, oh, don't panic and strictly serve the regular power of one.
Just finished moving into the old lighthouse. Staying with you in that hole any longer is out of question. New gas geysers keep sprouting daily. The whole bunker could collapse any moment now. There's nothing to hope for. Nobody knows why we are even here anymore. We certainly can't do any work. I only go down there for the pittance that passes for rations nowadays. I'd like to believe that it's safer on the surface, but who am I trying to fool? The people are famished. Every day brings news of new attacks and murders. Now, when we finally have the data on all of the largest city agglomerations, it is obvious that our hopes to find one that had somehow been spared attack were unfounded. Moscow was apparently hit especially hard. The new data confirms that fallout makes it completely impossible to leave there. Only Novosibirsk might be marginally worse, where- Mommy, look at what they drew! Oh, uh, who is this? It's me, I drew this. It's a great picture. Senior researcher Kakimova, please take the child outside. <laughs>
Jump us with lights still on. Go, go, go! still works with all the cracks in the bunk. Mother told me they had to repair many times and other things too. Keprakme. Thank you, Artyom. This is for you. Father gave it to me when I was little. Damir says there's a little girl on your train. Give it to her. May it bring her luck. You people are lucky. Most of the Munai Baile are raiding all their best troops. If they were all here, you'd be dead already. But now, we have a chance to change things. Ah, uh, Munai Baile translates to something like oil rich people. Oil drillers, I guess. Listen to me. I'll tell you where to go now. When outside, go right. The road there used to lead to the sea, to port. Anna should be around there. Contact her. She probably found something interesting. <laughs> I'll stay and try to find out more about these oil drillers. We'll contact the base as soon as I get any useful information. Tell me, Gul, how did this Baron come to power here? My people chose their fate themselves. What? Become slaves of their own will? <laughs> well, <laughs> see ya, Artyom. <laughs> Good luck.
know who is this colonel and who told him we are all complete morons here. But we cannot really let this slide. So, here's what we are going to do. Come, Whoever I'll show you some things. <laughs> this dust will be, will be the end of me. Look at my lair here. Didn't have such luxury back in Moscow. Still, this place is too hot. I feel I'm coming down soon, like Stepan. In any case, here's what I learned. See that crane at the dock? There is someone in the cabin. Can't see him that well, but I think he noticed me as soon as I arrived. That seems like a great spot to keep tabs on our base, so you should check it out. Look at that cracked ship now. The largest one, closest to the water. See? Well, it's not cracked, but rather carefully dismantled. I saw trucks carrying cages arrive at that boat. Looks like this is where the bandits keep their prisoners. There's that building over there, past the port. Looks like an air control tower, but I'm not sure. In any case, there should be a lot of equipment there. Something might come in handy. I see you got the maps. You and Amir did a great job there. <coughs> I'll keep watching the rigs, and you can choose your next goal. Damn, I wish I could wash off all this sand already. I hope we get out of this desert soon. Inside! Arvio, I have the mirror on the line here, so take his seat, I'll be with you soon. What a storm! And made of sand, no less! Alright, right. Miller, over and out. You got them? Great job, Artyom! Great news! Artyom got the maps! Well done, Artyom! Such a Idiot, get started with these. I'll join you later. Here, there's a lot Here of data. The sooner we analyze it, the better. We have the maps. Now we have to find a way out of this place. And that's the hard part. We need water for the Aurora and the crew, as you can see. Stepan, Duke, and Alyosha are done with dehydration already. We also need fuel. The local bandits have it all. I had already contacted their so-called Baron. But his terms proved to be... unacceptable. He will told us where they get the water, but naturally, the well is guarded. The mirror gone to the place, and says we could infiltrate it stealthily. So, party, when you're ready, go rendezvous with the mirror. Your goal is to bring water to the Aurora. Failure is not an option. Good luck, Artyom. I... 
We are all counting on you. Crest, how's the weather? Artyom, while you are oh, out, I finished course. making one more thing for the tea house. Perfect. The workbench is at your service. What have you got, idiot? What can I say? We clearly didn't come here in vain. Got it all figured out? Sure seems so. The radiation levels are plotted in color. Ha! They even have the radiation level dynamics here. When is it from? Hmm. Yeah, a bit old. Well, let's hope the situation didn't deteriorate since then. Which maps have we got? Central Asia, Western Siberia, the Urals, the European part of the country. Grand Bayermak, don't you have any water east. left at all? Where, where would I keep any? Uncle Artyom, is this for me? Wow, thank you! Look, Grandpa Yermak, I have my own canteen now. Well, now we'll have to ask for some water. Then you'll have your own untouchable reserve. Wow, thank you! Mom, Hello, Uncle Artyom just gave me Any a canteen. Any news about the water?
Are you ready? How are the guys doing with no water? While you were away, I scouted it out a bit. Gil says lots of people used to live in these caves. Uh, there was basically a real town. But then the geysers opened up and they all had to flee. As you might suspect, we're approaching the spring through the back door. Well, let's go! <gasps> well, the bridges are burnt now. Let's climb a bit higher to get a better look around. The cave isn't going anywhere. Some noise! What's that, huh? Ah, shaitan! Stupid bats! Yeah, this place is totaled. When setting out, I kind of had hopes of finding something about my people, if not my relatives. But now I find out. And it hurts. Steady, steady. Aha! Uh -huh. Right at the entrance. Get ready, Artyom. Charge the torch, check the filters, and other gear. I have this feeling, a vaguely unnerving one. Well, to hell with the feelings. Here, let me give you a boost. A cave-in. We're in luck, though. There's still some space left.
Oh, how many people lived here? And everything is built up. Uh, let's try walking around. Now we cross the bridge and head right. Looks like we're almost out. Follow me! The passage to the spring! Let's go! Another cave-in! My filter's almost done for! Look! Light! Here! Well, the air seems alright. Masks off. Well, it's a crawl from here on. Gil says the locals follow every word the oilmen say. So, let's try to do it quietly, without the unnecessary bloodshed. The slaves are innocent. Turn the torch off, Artyom. It's a dead giveaway. Look, water. See that car? I'll move there and hide behind it. The gate is controlled from that tower. When you open it, I'll rush the car through and you leap atop the tank. Good luck, and try not to kill anyone but the oilmen, alright?
I not know you. I not tell anyone I saw you. Not tell. I say truth. I not tell anyone. I spit on the dogs and rub it in. Sleet all their throat. But not the slaves. They are innocent. Innocent at all. Buckets go up. You go up with buckets. The dogs not see this way. Let's
Well, that was a clean operation. You should have seen their marks when I started the car. <sighs> well, at least we didn't hurt the slaves. We showed them all right, didn't we? Yes, we did. The thing is, their army is in a massive raid now. And this is just... Mm, the Baron sending his regards. How many of them are there? 700, I think. Whoa. 
Yeah, we locked out here. And we'd better not overstay our welcome. We won't get far burning twigs. Five clicks at best. The dogs have fuel. Lots of it. A full tanker carriage on the rails. If we open gate quietly, we can steal it. They shouldn't have many guards now. Can you guide our men? I can. Let's get to business then. Yermak, Crest, you prepare the Aurora. Finish filling the boiler with water and drain the car's tanks. Artyom, Damir, you get the most important part. Stealing that tank. Yes, sir. Good luck, gentlemen. Dana, idiot, Toker, we're breaking camp, people. Hi, our hero. <laughs> Hi, Artyom. Well, it's all gonna be okay now. We can't lose now that we have water. You guys did great. Artyom, watch out while on the mission. We'll be praying for you. Oh, come on. It's Artyom we're talking about. Artyom, the car's near the Aurora. Artyom, we're yeah, fixing Mark, to leave already, but there's one thing yeah, that keeps we'll nagging on me. Remember that dismantled ship I told you about? I can't stop.
Artyom, we took a look around. The main gate is guarded by a skeleton crew. You cannot go through gate. Go through the prison cellar where the Munai by Lair keep the slaves. Uh, <laughs> yes. In any case, the plan is this. Gul and I will try to take their guards down quietly and get in through the gate. If quiet does not work out, we will at least distract them, while you get in through the underground. <sighs> Let's go. We'll walk with you. Don't lag behind. I have a favor to ask. If possible, don't kill the slaves. They're not... They just obey the Manai by Lair. Obey the Baron. They're afraid, that's all. Who was right about the locals? Here. <laughs> this place. They're just kids, and all have been under brainwashing for ages. So we probably should take pity on them. So, a great? Well, let's do this. All right, I'll raise it and you get through. What should I... not make me warrior. I won't kill and me want glory. Not waste time work here. Your dog is big, big, it's just like you. 
Also bad news. The gate is locked and we can't take it out. Colonel, sir, Damir here. We have secured the tank, but encountered a, a problem with the gate. Copy that. We're going with plan B then. Act accordingly. See, the cable connects the gate and the top of the tower. How do we get there, though? Oh, it looks like a veritable fortress. Gentlemen, surely you're not seriously intending to attack our fortress. I do respect your courage, but simply throwing your lives away, such a waste. Who is in charge between you two? Come up here. We have things to discuss. Just you listen to that bastard talk. A complete about face. And we did throw a wretched into his plans big time. Put the gun down and come up. Otherwise, we'll have a pointless bloodbath on our hands. Open the gate and let our guests in! Hey, Where did you go? I am up on the tower already. I have a plan. Come up! We won't even touch you. Unless you really ask for it. I don't like this, but there is no other way. If we don't get out of this desert, we we're as good as dead. Good luck, Artyom. If the deal goes south, I'll... If I fucking hear well, one more word again. about that bitch, go! Get over here! Down. There's too many Go around in stinkers and just get to the next floor. Stinkers. Even some wind. The boss hates oh, stench. Why don't you fucking catch it, Frank? Uh, you must be I'm one of the house. things. That's just you take a fucking look at the beauty Vint is making for the boss. You just take a detour? You see there's some apes doing their stuff it. here. Put your back into it! Why the fuck did we feed you yesterday? The yeah, ape's very master. The <laughs> Irish <laughs> slave was not on purpose. Come on, what's taking so long? Yes, Come over here already. The whore drank master's water. Go give her a lesson. Forgive now. me, Uli Mirza. I You're a dog! Shut the fuck Less up! Less than a dog! The water is for people! Ah, fuck 
for the master! Do you get it? Glad you listen. Hey! You! Come on, up the ladder with you. The it's one like of those me. new arrivals. Come to me, the boss. Show that you're alive! Hey, pretty boy. Did you come from afar? You're the one to see the boss? Come on in. Don't... I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it. Without which there is no hope for something better in the future. And with no hope, you can't live. But let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with their purpose in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender gear to me. Bring her to me, and we all win. I have gear. You will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now. Fuel herself has come for you! You'll answer for everything! He locked it! From the other side! That coward! Do you think I'm a fool? You didn't want to do it! Now you will all die! Starting with you, Gyo! Kill them! Artyom, get ready. We must kill these dogs! This is for you, dirty worm! That bitch is there! Artyom! What's going on? You, you're weak, and you value the weak, but the world lives by different rules. The strong ones always win. Our strength lies in our unity, our faith that keeps us close to It is through this faith that we protect them, direct them, keep them from disappearing in this desert. But you, Gyul, you're leading our flock of friends. This is you something of an icon. There's this aura of rebellion about you. The attraction of forbidden. It is an aura of problems nobody needs. Luckily, your death will dispel it. Eat the grenade, bitch! Why doesn't he speak anymore? Artyom, I'll go in before that dog runs away. I'll catch him and open the door for you. Hold on. Where is that fucker? Holy shit! Guys, we're getting 
Impressive. So, this is the plan Gule was talking about. What the hell is going on there? Get out of there! I'll send people to cover your retreat! The door's giving. Let's give it a shove, Artyom! You gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Artyom, your dream led us here, but it won't help my people. This war is mine now, too. Go, Artyom. Follow your dream. I was so worried. 